It's not the place for itself, and it's not the smoke for itself. It's really the combination of both. I think it's not trying to be different, but listening to yourself makes you different. I am different. First day of the shoot, and we're starting in the countryside outside the town of Mirabu, and we did their first smoke color cloud. You know, it's really cool to see how the sunlight shines through it, and we got some cool silhouettes of them actually running through as they shot. And then just now, we finished shooting some drone tests. It was technically uh, a little bit difficult, but we have to uh, make a choreography. The drone going inside, we didn't see nothing, <laughs> but it was amazing. It was spectacular for us. It was really playful. Like the drones make really crazy shapes with their smoke. We tied the, the smoke bombs differently that we could do on the floor. Or, so also this was part of the thing that made the, the smoke so special. Right now we're down in the port of Marseille and we're down in a, a big shipping yard where there's lots of containers and they find these to be very graphic in their solid colors and kind of abstract patterns they make. And there's something nice about kind of this desolate urban wasteland that they gravitate to. So we've been combining two things, the burst mode and the dynamic autofocus, which helps you to be really creative because you forget about the technique. It's just the camera working for you in a way. We released the smoke and after we did a pigment explosion. And the pigment explosion is really, really quick. So without the burst, you are really lucky if you catch it. We're not looking for having too much tools because when we travel, we want to travel light. But what is important is to have the perfect tool. After taking the picture and finding the one we really love that surprises even further than we could have imagined, this is a lot of satisfaction and yeah, this is a lot of fun. <laughs>